be seated. Your Excellency, the President, Secretary to the President, the leadership of the Ministry of Defense, United States Defense Attaché, United Kingdom Defense Attaché, newly promoted Brigadier Generals and their family members, who now commence the the commission ceremony of the newly promoted Brigadier Generals by His Excellency the President and Commander in Chief. We will start by inviting the presence of God. And I will start by inviting Lieutenant Colonel Reverend Father Desmond Levy to lead us with the Christian prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, creator of all, as we gather to celebrate the promotions of these senior officers to the rank of Brigadier Generals, our hearts are filled with happiness for them and for their whole family members. You have prepared them for this day and blessed them with this special trust. You are now there with the abilities of mind, body, and spirit more than equal to the task. You gave them leadership, mentors, and peers to help them along the way. You sustain them and protect them in days of difficulty and peril. Remembering that to whom much is given, much is required. I ask you to direct their steps and give them the strength to carry out their new responsibilities. Endow them to the spirit of wisdom and justice. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Father Levy. I also would like to invite Major Saeed Gaya Kamara for the Muslim prayer. We are here this morning praying for the newly promoted new officers, which I believe is a testament to their unwavering dedication and material service to our beloved nation. Your achievement reflects values of discipline, bravery, and professionalism that define the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces. As you ascend to higher rank, we pray, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you throughout your assignment. This nation places and even better trust in your capability. Therefore, I do believe that by the grace of the Almighty, your leadership, strategic vision, and dedication will be pivotal, will, will be pivotal in restoring peace, unity, stability, and prosperity to our beloved nation. I will therefore leave you with this watchword. Fear Allah in all your assignments, in all your dealings, for you shall be accountable before the Lord in the day of judgment. Let us pray. Subhanahu wa ta'ala wa Subhanahu wa ta'ala 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 Allah my dear Nami and Nar, Ya Mujir, Ya Mujir, Ya Mujir, the Rahmat Karam Rahim. Subhan Arabi Karabi Zata Maya Situn, was the Lamu Alam Mustalim and Fatal in Hamid. How did the light be in Shaitan Mujir? This we lie to Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rahman Rahim, Rahman Rahim, 
Thank you very much, Major Osai Kamara. We now invite the Secretary President for a welcome and declaration of purpose. Let me, on behalf of the Excellency the President, welcome you all to the State House to witness the declaration of newly promoted Brigadier General of the Armed Forces in the Republic of Sierra Leone. To be recalled in the light of the 11th day of March 2024, the Excellency the President, the Commander in Chief of Group Promotion of Eight Senior Personnel, the invariable rank of Brigadier General. The equivalent rank in architecture of the armed forces of the Republic of Sierra Leone. For these officers, today marks a combination of many years of not only hard work within their chosen fields of endeavor in the armed forces, but also of service to this nation and to humanity. That makes today a solemn, joyous, gratifying, satisfying, memorable day for them, the families of the Republic of Sierra Leone. For those of you who passed through that rank many or few years ago, memories have been reawakened. Memories not only of the day of the decoration, but also to distinguish service to this nation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here this morning to celebrate hard work, to celebrate commitment and devotion to duty, to celebrate success, to officially and publicly recognize and decorate deserving and accomplished officers the Armed Forces of the Republic of Syria. We are recognizing success this morning mainly for these officers, but also for the Armed Forces in general of the Republic of Syria. As I close this statement, let me remind you of the role of the role of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Syria as provided for in Section 1652 of the Constitution of Syria, Act Number 6 of 1991. I quote, to guard and secure the Republic of Sierra Leone and preserve the safety and territorial integrity of the state. More importantly, to participate in its development, to safeguard the people's achievements, and to protect the Constitution of Sierra Leone. I leave you the code which the Reverend Father said to whom much is given or to suspected. Congratulations. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, welcome to State House to witness the decoration of newly promoted Brigadier Generals and Air Commando by His Excellency, Trial Brigadier Dr. Julio Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Secretary the President. I also now have the distinguished pleasure to invite the Director General of the Ministry of Defense for the introduction of the newly promoted senior officers and also to guide the decoration process. President of the Republic, 
Supreme Head of State and Grand Commander of the Order Republic, Commander in Chief of the Republic of Shadow and Forces. Sir, permission to stand on exist an already established protocol present to you a total of eight senior officers in our attorney colleagues, whose promotions to the heavy rank of Brigadier General will recently be sanctioned pursuant to Section 1693 of the Constitution of Tribune, Act No. 6. Your Excellency, sir, I now present to you Colonel Almami Usman Kamara. Colonel Almami Usman Kamara was born on 7th March 1970 in Makini, not of Sierra Leone, and was commissioned to the Republic of Sierra Leone forces as officer cadet on 25th September 1993 at the prestigious Nigeria. Defense Academy in Kaduna. In addition to several professional and career accomplishments, Colonel Almami O. Kamara also holds a number of academic qualifications, including a Master of Science degree in Strategic and Defense Studies from the National Defense University in Brazil, People's Republic of China. Colonel Almami O. Kamara has also attended all career courses in that course, commensurate with his rank. In the International Arena, Colonel Iwu Kamara served as Staff Officer Grade 1 in the United Nations Mission in South Sudan from 2008 to 2009, and Senior Military Advisor to the Special Representative of the Secretary General in the United Nations Office for West Africa and Sahel in the Senegal from 2015 to 2018. Colonel Almami Usman Kamara is currently the Acting Commander to the Infantry Brigade with headquarters in Kenya City. Your Excellency, sir, the prospective Brigadier General is married to Mrs. Christiana O. E. O. Kamara, and they are blessed with two children. Colonel George Mahmoud Pangura. Colonel George Mahmoud Pangura was born on 26 June 1969 in Kamakwe, in the cellar in Bachibdon, Karina District. Northern Sierra Leone. He was enlisted to the Republic of Sierra forces as recruit in 1991 and eventually commissioned as officer cadet on 6 November 1993 at the Benguima Training Center, now the Armed Forces Training Center. Colonel George Mahmoud Bangura was raised in Kenema City, Eastern Sierra Leone, where he attended the Government Secondary School Kenema or K School. Before proceeding to the Western Secondary School in Kamakwe, where he obtained his GCE A levels. In addition to several professional career courses, Colonel GM Bangura, as his fondly referred to, as, referred to by his peers, also holds a diploma in defense and public studies from the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration in the Jinka, and Master of Military Science and Strategy from the National Defense University in Beijing. People's Republic of China. Colonel George Mahmoud Bangura has attended all career courses in armed forces, commensurate with his rank, and is currently acting brigade commander, pilot infantry brigade with headquarters in Gundama, the Concord Chibi and the Gold Sir, the soon to be brigadier general is married to his old schoolmate, sweetheart, Mrs. General Sheriff Bangura, and they are blessed with two children. Colonel Albert Jusu. Colonel Albert Jusu was born in Jujuema, Kailan District, oh, in the Eastern Sierra Leone, and was enlisted into the Republic of Sierra Leone forces in September 1994 and commissioned as officer cadet on 16 June 1995. In addition to several professional and career development courses, Colonel Albert Jusu also holds a number of academic credentials including a Bachelor of Arts with Honors Degree in Political Science from Kabe College, University of Sierra Leone, a Master of Science in Diplomacy and International Relations, a Master of Arts in International Affairs from the University of Ghana in Bogom, and a Postgraduate Diploma in Global Counterterrorism, among several others. Your Excellency, a distinguished officer, has also held a number of command and staff appointments including 
serving as battalion commander, four infantry brigade, the Tepe, Akili, as well as being chief retired staff officer to the Tepe Defense Staff. Colonel Albert Jusu is currently acting commander, three infantry brigade with headquarters in Moritan. Next register, the incoming brigadier general is married to Mrs. Vicky Mumu Jusu, and the union is blessed with two wives, twins. Group Captain Hassan Sekumba. Group Captain Hassan Sekumba was born in Mumbai town, Kailan District, on 22nd May 1974. He was commissioned into the Republic of Sri Lanka Forces as officer cadet on 16 June 1995. Group Captain Kumba is a trained and certified yeah. pilot. Several civil aviation credentials, including Pilot license from the UK Civil Aviation School, private pilot license from the South African Civil Aviation Academy, and helicopter transition and pilot command qualification from the GTM Air Force. In time, Group Captain Kumba also holds a BSc honors degree in development and economics, and is currently pursuing a master in public administration at Yara University. As a distinguished career officer, Group Captain Kumba has bagged several awards and decorations, including groups, the Good Conduct Medal, and Officer of the Order of the Royal Marine Order. He is currently Chief of Air Staff, a position he has held since September 2018. Your Excellency, Group Captain Hassan Sekuma is married and blessed with three children. Harriet Hassan. Colonel Sheikh Sulaiman Masakwe. Colonel Sheikh Sulaiman Masakwe was born on 2nd June 1973 to Suru Bema, Chief Don Ugon District in southern Sulaiman. Sheikh Sulaiman Masakwe was commissioned into the Republic of Sulaiman Forces as officer cadet on 14 October 1994 at the prestigious Benjamin Training Center. Now, the Armed Forces Training Center. Prior to his commissioning in 1994, Colonel S.S. Masakwe attended the prestigious Bo Government School, or Bo School, where he obtained both his GCEO and A level certificates. In addition to several professional and career courses, Colonel Sheikh Suleiman Masakwe also holds the Bachelor of Arts with honors degree in political science from the College. Master of Science in Military Studies from the National Defense University in Bangladesh. Colonel Sheikh Suleiman Masakwe has held several command and staff appointments, including being a platoon command, platoon, being platoon and company commanders, commanding officer for infantry battalion, commander forces intelligence unit, director of defense intelligence MOD, and is currently the acting director general. Services. Your Excellency, the incoming Brigadier General is married to his beautiful and amiable wife, Mrs. Rosalind Magdalene Asako, and their union is blessed with all children. Your Excellency, sir, in addition to these five senior officers here assembled for your decoration, may I also respectfully seek your leave to submit for your Recognition the following three officers who are currently out of the jurisdiction and hence not privileged to be here. Sir, Colonel Kemal Sissi, currently pursuing a course in defense and strategic studies in the People's Republic of China. Colonel Mohamed Ziviki Fufan, he is also pursuing a similar course in the Republic of Tanzania. Colonel Sadidi Thomas Counter. Also, out of the judicial staff, and pursuing the course of defense and strategic studies in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I thank you, sir. I now have the honor, sir, to Mr. Lee, to invite the following new military officers to come forward and to come forward for decoration. Colonel 
SL646 Colonel E. O. Kamala.
Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the President, for presiding over that decoration ceremony. Your Excellency, the President, with your leave, it's now my distinguished pleasure to invite you for a statement. Sector to the President, Senior Government Officials, President, the Chief of Defense Staff, and other staff officers of the Ministry of Defense, senior officers, um, newly promoted generals, um, family members, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, this is always a happy moment for a career officer. And without much ado, I want to register my profound gratitude for all the arrangements that have gone into this and then congratulate you wholeheartedly for this position, the promotion that you have today. It's a happy moment. Everybody wants to rise. You want to grow. But you don't grow in the army just like that. You have to deserve it to grow. So today you've been promoted generals, which means you, you deserve it, you've worked for it, you've shown commitment. And I want to add my voice to the many who have congratulated you, officially to say congratulations to you and to your families. Of course, this comes with a lot of expectation, both professionally and socially. Professionally, we expect you to rise up as generals, to lead at a higher level now. We have a nation that is striving to become a middle income country by 2039, which means there is a lot to be done. We don't do things in a vacuum. What should be our preoccupation, which is national development, growth, politically, socially, economically, only happens when we have stability, when we have economic stability, when we have political stability. And as part of the security architecture of this country, today you've risen to um, the positions of generals. You are now expected to lead and to help us, not only to defend, but to keep the peace in this country. That is an awesome task. It is beyond standard expectation, but we have to. The future of this country depends on this generation of leaders, and you have today become one of the leaders. When, we talk, when I talk about leadership, normally I talk about collective leadership. I am a leader but I don't govern this country alone. You have a part to play. And I expect more of you, more from you today onwards. I want to thank you very much for all that you've done to deserve this promotion. And to assure you that you have my fullest support going forward. I remember the day I was also promoted but that was during the war era. The bullets were still flying. The bombs were still exploding. Today, we sit quietly and in peace because so many people sacrificed for us to sit in peace today. So this is why your task is always humongous, it's big. We have to make sure we rise up to the occasion. On that note, I want to thank you very much and wish you all the best in your profession. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for those words of uh, motivation and encouragement for the newly promoted. At this point, I'd also like to invite one of the recipients, Brigadier General Eo Kamara, for a vote of thanks.
Your Excellency, President and Commander in Chief of the Republic of Sri Lanka, Brigadier General Sir Dr. Julius Mazabio. Sir, please kindly permit me to stand up for this protocol. On behalf of the newly promoted senior officers, I wish to express our profound gratitude to God Almighty for his favor in our lives and to you, Your Excellency, President, for the confidence we hold in us to approve our promotion to this every rank of Brigadier General in the Republic of Sri Lanka. Your Excellency, sir, kindly permit me to quote from your wise words during the last promotion here of our senior colleagues to the rank of general. I quote, promotion comes from God Almighty, but passes through to this house, unquote. I pledge on behalf of my newly promoted colleagues, Your Excellency, to continue to give our utmost in the service of the government and people of this great nation. We will reciprocate this gesture by remaining loyal and committed to you, Your Excellency, your government, and the Constitution of Sierra Leone, as well as the senior leadership of the Ministry of Defense and the Republic of Sierra Leone. Ensuring the safety and prosperity of our nation as our mantra. I must express our hearts thanks to all our spouses and family members for their tireless support, care, encouragement, and prayers towards our growth in this noble institution. We are grateful for your unwavering support, and we humbly request you to continue standing with us side by side, as your support is crucial for the success of our family members. May Allah and God Almighty continue to bless you. Once again, Your Excellency, sir, thank you most profoundly. And to our invited guests, thank you for gracing this historic ceremony. I wish you all peace, love, and Sierra Leoneans, the blessings of Ramadan. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you very much, Brigadier General Eo Kamara. At this point, may I announce that His Excellency President has graciously consented to a photo opportunity. We will have five sessions. We will start in the orders in which we are called for the decoration. And we will start with one single picture with a newly promoted officer, and then the family follows up until the end. But at this point, we will have the national anthem to signify the completion of the formal program. Please rise for the national anthem. That's the Con Brigadier General Bill Kamara and His Excellency President. You may wish to come forward. Um, viewers, we are, <coughs> viewers, we are here at State House. Um, we are. We are here at State House. We are His Excellency. The President has just decorated five senior officers. We are here at State House. We are His Excellency. The President has just decorated five senior officers from the positions of Colonel to the position of Brigadier General. Let me just give you a rundown of the newly promoted senior officers. Um, 646 Colonel A. Okamara, Commander, 2nd Infantry Brigade, who joined the Army in 1970. 
667 Colonel G.M. Bangura. He is now Commander 5 Infantry Brigade. He was born in 1969. SL-738 Colonel A. Jusu, Commander 3rd Infantry Brigade. And also Group Family Captain H.S. Kumba, Air Chief of Staff. 757 Colonel, Colonel S.S. Masakoi. Um, who is now Assistant Chief of Defense Staff, Support and Logistics. Well, these are the senior officers. Three of them are out of the country, are presently pursuing some courses in various countries. But the five who are here um, have just been decorated. These officers joined the Army around 30 years ago, between 1993, 1994, and 1995. That's three decades ago. As you know, the President is the Commander-in-Chief of the Republic of Syria Armed Forces, and it is he who has the power to make these kind of promotions. They were promoted around Family March, but it was today that they've been decorated. They've been given the senior tasks and senior responsibilities as now part of the senior cadre of the Sierra Leone military. Each one of them is coming with a wealth of experience as, as senior military Thank officers. They've yeah, risen the through the ranks. Yeah, They've held yes, positions in the army. They have served in various positions. And today is a day that is also going to go down in the annals of history in their career. That today was a day that they were promoted to become brigadier generals by no less a person than His Excellency the President, who is the Commander-in-Chief, who himself was a one-time military officer. And um, so it is he, as the Commander-in-Chief, who does this kind of promotions. Today, five senior officers have been decorated, three are out of the country. Starting from today, they are going to take up their office, their responsibility as uh, the new officers carrying these various positions. Mind you, the military the is an enviable institution where many people wish to belong. It is an institution that symbolizes discipline, an institution that symbolizes loyalty to a country, an institution that symbolizes selflessness in terms of protecting lives and property. So these are gallant men who have today been promoted and have been decorated by their commander-in-chief, who happens to be the president, the first gentleman of the state, who himself was one-time military officer. They have various tasks and various responsibilities that have been assigned to them. Um, Colonel Joseph, for example, is going to now serve as the commander, 3rd Infantry Brigade. 3rd Infantry Brigade, for your information, is located at Morrowtown. That's where the 3rd Infantry so Brigade is. He's now the Brigade Commander. Um, that's a huge, huge responsibility that has been given to them by the President. This, these promotions do not come by accident. They come as a result of their hard work, their service and their dedication to the military, to this country and to protecting the lives and property of Sierra Leoneans. All of them have been in the army not less than 30 years. They joined the army in the, 90, in the 90s, and um, 30 years down the line, they've held one of the senior positions in the military. This is what every military, of, military officer wishes for. Just like, Thank you very much. Just like a lawyer for wishes to become a chief justice or attorney general. The, the president is now living commander-in-chief is now taking his exit he has now left and um, the officers have not been promoted <laughs> let's see if we can let's see if we can talk to some of the newly promoted officers who have just been promoted today is a day of joy for them a day that they are celebrating with their families and friends because this is something they've been looking forward to. Um, a day that they had dreamt of, a day that they had wished, um, and today they have seen it. They've been promoted, they are now part of the senior cadre of the military. This is something every military officer wishes for. 
because um, as a military officer, your dream and desire is uh, to be promoted, to serve your country. Like the president said, to whom much is given, much is expected. With this responsibility that has been given to them, uh, much is expected of them now. They, you have, they had been senior officers, but they are now more senior than they were um, some months back. So today, so today, let me just yeah, let me just talk to one of the newly promoted officers now, uh, Brigadier General um, Sheikh Masakwe. Uh, today is a very exciting day for you. What comes to your mind when your name was being pronounced by the Commander in Chief? Uh, I I felt good and I felt honoured because it is very difficult to get to the rank of Brigadier General, and I I want to dedicate this promotion to my colleagues. We started together, but most of them died during the war. So I want to dedicate this promotion to them. I, 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 I felt good, but at the same time emotional, because we were together, and some of our colleagues did not, have not made it up yet to Brigadier General. So it's, it's at times you have to be lucky, and at times God has to be on your side. That's all I will say. For the benefit of our viewers, um, when they say someone is a Brigadier General, what's your responsibility? What's your tasks? Ah, the tasks are very, very animals because you command a brigade. Like if you're a brigade, a brigade commander, you cover, you cover a whole region. Like in the Southern Brigade, the Brigade Commander is south covering all his, the soldiers in that region. So it is a very challenging task to become a Brigadier General. And that's the wish of every military officer, professional military officer, to get to that rank. I mean, you've been in the military for 30 years now, right? About 29. 29, 29 years. Yes. The day you joined the military, is this something you had you had dreamt of, that one day you will be decorated as Brigadier General? I, 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 I have always been looking forward to it, but it's not easy. Many are called, but few are choosing. And uh, I still have some of my mates who are still majors, who are lieutenant colonels. So it's a difficult. It is very challenging for you to get there. Most times, hard work, favored by the Almighty Allah, then you get to that rank. But it's very challenging to get to a rank, to get to the Brigadier General rank. It has also always been said by my, one of my platoon commanders that as you, as you try to climb the ladder, it becomes smaller. So that is the situation. And your new task now is um, Assistant Chief of Defense Staff Support and Logistics. What's, what's your responsibility? My, 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 my responsibility is in charge of all logistics and support to the ASLAF in like dealing with front lines, I deal with equipment, I deal with ration, I do a lot of issues. If infrastructure, they are all under my purview. It's a, it's a huge tax, very challenging tax, but with the help of Almighty God, I believe I will make it. Okay, General, one more. What message do you have for young officers, young military men who are watching you now, who have just been maybe enlisted to the army? My message to them is for them to be professional, that's the first message, be loyal to your country, to the government, elected government, and most to be perseverance because it's very difficult. Coming down from second lieutenant to lieutenant to captain is challenging. So my, my, my message to them is for them to be professional, responsible, and see civilians as partners in development, not see them as targets. Don't see them as targets. Thank you very much, Brigadier General Sheikh Suleiman Massacre. I want to wish you well, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, well, he is uh, the newly promoted uh, Brigadier General um, Sheikh Suleiman Massacre, who is now the Assistant Chief of Defense Staff Support and Logistics. Well, um, he joined the Army in 1990, uh, around 29 years ago. He has now risen to this top rank in the military. Um, that's how we end uh, this live broadcast. As you can see, the new, the new officers are having photographs with their friends and family members. Today is a day that they are celebrating. Today is a day for celebration for them and their families. Well, from State House, on behalf of the crew, on behalf of all of us, that's how we say goodbye.